It's a classic autumn night in the state capital of the Lone Star State for a showdown between two old rivals that have been going at it since 1901. Welcome to Big 12 College Football Saturday presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Tonight a matchup the Big 12 South Westlake High School. Mikhail Baker back deep along with Lanier Sampson and we are just about ready to go in Austin Texas College Football Saturday and what a kick over the head of Baker and a first and ten for RG3 and the Baylor Bears at their own 20 yard Karon Johnson in on the H back on the right side need about three and they get it on that final surge by Jay Finley Jay Finley with more yardage over the last two games than he had in the first six for the Baylor Bears. And it shows early right past Griffin. Not a bad snap. He lost his concentration and then he loses his footing thanks to Sam Ocho. And did it get taken away? Yes! Ball came loose. Ocho, they've come under a lot of fire offensively here in Austin. Now, Garrett Gilbert throwing for the first time and a dart taken in. And it's a first down to Malcolm Williams. We're scoreless early. Four and a half minutes gone by. Gilbert with time. And to the wide side. Not enough for the first down unless and he did. He got the play. It'll be third and goal outside of the nine. Here comes the heat. Gilbert scramble mode. Corner of the end zone. Up for grabs and out of the end zone. Even though it was taken in by Kirkendall. Well, the heat. You saw the numbers for Justin Tucker. It's a 26-yard attempt and points off the turnover. But to Baylor's credit, they mix us. It'll be first and ten outside of the 37. Zone read for Griffin. And a little dart. Resourceful, isn't he? Gets it to Josh Gordon. Thought he was going to run it. They need a little more than three. Griffin looking back, and he's got it for the first down. And will he stay in bounds? No. Out of bounds, Tevin Reese, the true freshman from yards. First and ten, 25-yard line of Texas. Underneath Reese trying to make a miss, which he does. He said, make a miss, guys, the coaches tell us. And he's got nine. And check that. It was Josh Gordon. Bunch of on the wide side, three over there, and the inside guy. He's got it, but he's short of the first down. Kendall Wright, the junior. Thing over five when you're inside the 15-yard line. So Jones in to tie it up. It'll be a 24-yard attempt, and he is now 17 of 21, a guy who has made more field goals this year for Baylor already. Second read, ultimately to his third, but then makes a decisive decision to run. Newton, breaking tackles, and they stand him up, just short of the 46. Are there enough playmakers? And we've seen some. The 46 of first down, and Cody Johnson's in the backfield. For blocking purposes, down the sideline for Williams, and a flag. Ball thrown behind them, and that time a break for Texas. They have points or the football. And wouldn't it be bizarre if Texas goes 80 yards? Johnson looking for people to hit, obviously. And he's close to a first down. He's a load of 250, the junior from Walter Davis. Those are too close together right there. Johnson, huge hole, and you need a big one for him to drive through. He's got another first down, down to the 18. Williams looks like single coverage bottom of your screen middle of the field way behind his intended target as he tried to get it to John John and now 14 of 17 on the year the 31 yarder nice draw use that on the first team it's over for and Keener Robinson he's got to go down on top of it he tried to pick it up and run with it now Griffin in trouble and on his way down the sack and what a job coming up and making the play any job really hurt Garrett Gilbert hasn't found a rhythm since now new good yardage for the first down if he pops it towards the sideline it may go to football only 25 percent on their third down tries Newton little crease and it closed in a hurry and then the guy you were just talking about came up to clean up and that Byron Lander boy a third and five Gilbert for the first time this year to that extent Tucker now a 49 yard attempt and boy, that's good from about 60. Wow. Justin Tucker, get it out of your system. Junior from Griffin needs about six and a half, seven. And a little stop. Didn't work. And what a hit. The completion is good, but coming up for the Longhorn. Self across the chains. Griffin coming up in a hurry. And I don't think he got it. It'll depend upon the spot. He nudged it across the 40. He got a great spot, though. Now, 
with a, who gets the ball. All the timeouts up for both still. Here comes the heat on Griffin, and there goes Williams down the middle. Untouched. Little slant. Broke the tackle. Touchdown, Banner. 59 yards for Terrence Williams. How quickly it can happen with a Banner, Bears, and Robert Griffin. Losing his hands, not allowing the ball to get to the body, and takes it all the way 59. And now the extra point tacked on him. It's at the 39. Playing it safe. Trey Newton scrambling his way up the middle. He's got a first down, stops the clock. But if I'm Texas, I use one of my three. Now on third down. Critical. Gilbert can run for it. Instead, he'll throw for it, and he gets the first down. Going down to a knee, it should be down already. And it will be on the grab by John Childs. By Tucker's three for three tonight. Just hit a 49-yarder. And this one on target again. Texas has the lead with three seconds left in the half. Freshman in at guard. It'll be second and nine. Little stunt up front. And over the middle, it's out of the backfield. Newton. Man, he's got the first down across the 49, down to the 48. Now remember, when we talk about adjustments, Banner has adjusted. Heck of a job this season with the Bears. On second and ten. It'll be Gilbert, zone read, and Garrett Gilbert breaks the tackle. Down the sideline, gets another block from Williams. And out of bounds. So when you least suspect it. About Gary Gilbert will start learning that as his career moves on. Third and seven. Here comes the heat. He can run for the first down. Now can he get to the goal line to the five? Yes. Touchdown, Texas. <laughs> Gilbert with runs of 25 and ultimately gets in the end zone. Justin Tucker for the point after, and now a nine-point lead. The big now deep into the play clock. It's only a three-man rush on Griffin. Acho flushed him out. And wide open is Williams. Intercepted. Picked off. Christian Scott gets it. Coming the other way with a flag on the play. Williams was behind. Christian Scott, it was underthrown. Man, Dex is going to have it. It might come back because of a block. During the return, block in the back, number eight, Texas. Ten-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. After the play, personal foul, unnecessary roughness on Texas, number nine. That foul will be enforced half the distance of the goal. First down. So Johnson on. All the much more. Play fake. Deep drop. And going for the home run ball. Looking for Williams. Grab is made. Was he in bounds or not? They're saying yes, it is a catch. Mount. Check that. Kirkendall. Stadium. <laughs> <laughs> really? No pressure. No. <laughs> now, Gilbert making a miss out of the backfield, following his block over to the left side. Lander. And they get him offside. They'll go for it. Now, Gilbert. And the defensive back was pushed down. It'll come back. The call against Malcolm Wood. Long situation. It's a Luby. The H back in motion. Third and 13. And Griffin wide open over his shoots his intended target, and it was. Here comes the heat. Gilbert gets rid of it in time and over his shoots. Kirkendall as he turned. No shot. Tucker four for four tonight. And now from 47 yards. No good. So clearly Tannehill getting the bulk of the snaps and playing very well. Big hole. Finley down the seam. Will anybody get him? Finley inside the 30. It looks like he's gone. He is. Touchdown, Banner. 69 yards for Jay Finley coming off the record-setting performance of last week. The point after is good by Aaron Jones for so the big plays. Well, it's second and ten. Monroe to decoy. Middle of the field, tight end, can't hang on. Picked off and going the other way, Antonio Johnson. Look out. Here come the Bears inside the 15. On the deflection, the senior from Waco sets it up. On the quarterback sneak, no word yet. And where will they put it? Touchdown, Banner. They have taken the lead.
For the third straight snap, they go with the quarterback sneak. Got to keep churning your feet and get great push from the offensive line. And Robert Griffin is at the bottom of that pile somewhere with the football across the goal line. It's hard to know. And away in the backfield. It'll be Griffin looking to K-Rod, and he can't hang on. Garon Johnson available, and that's without Chance Casey, the starting cornerback. Now, Gilbert stepping up, and Childs has it. He lost it, incomplete. It was there, but with Atchison on 12. Now, looking at a third and 10. Slides the loopy right in front of the Longhorns bench. And over the middle, get the first down of the quick hitter by the speedster. It's taken in by Kendall Wright. Just a slant action. Points for Baylor. And they get the 10. Over the middle, they'll get more than 10. Down the middle, touchdown, Kendall Wright. 30 yards. No safety in the neighborhood. Touchdown. Extra point from Aaron Jones is perfect. And so the heat on the young quarterback Garrett Gilbert with Trey Newton in the backfield. Here comes the blitz. It eludes the pressure momentarily. And now coming back out the bottom is Mike Davis. Davis has the first down across the 30. Give Gilbert credit. Dismal numbers on third down. Gilbert's got a ton of time. And a wide open receiver, good one. Drive is still alive, and so are the Longhorns. Down the hash mark with guys like your tight end. Earl Patan never left his position on that one. Now it's out to the playmaker. Can he break a tackle? Yes, he can. Mike Davis, the true freshman. This is the one guy that we've been told by the staff that really has home run. Make a throw in this situation. Pocket holds up, and it's available over the middle once again, Davis. He comes alive late in the contest with a quick strike. Gilbert on third and goal. Out of the reach. Good coverage on Kirkendall. It looked like the tight end over to the right side was available. Potentially, you're trying. And the chances. That's the key. You see all those field goals for Justin Tucker? This is like an extra point, a 21 yarder. He gets it. So now it's a one score game. If they can get a two point conversion, just get the ball back. Now, biggest play of the game, third down opportunity. Griffin looking for the slant and the collision course. Gideon. Man, Aaron William. Need the big play. Here comes Gilbert with the heat coming. Man, he's got the big play. He's got a lost football, though, after the catch, and Baylor should come away with it. Goodwin put it on the ground, and it looked like Baylor covered it. I don't know if they're going to be able to review this one. Bears say they have it. No official word yet. It was ripped. <laughs> On the circle. It's official. That's it. Baylor has done it. They have upset the Texas Longhorns, winning here for the first time since 1997. They have shocked the Texas Longhorns and 100,000 faithful tonight at Memorial Stadium. 22 win for the Baylor Bears. Coming up next, some of you are going to see the final score, while those of you in the Big 12 area, stay tuned. Big 12 Live, it's coming up next. And we've got a triple header for you. Baylor on the road at Oklahoma State next week. It'll be followed by Oklahoma. And AM. big win for AM today. And then back 10, Arizona State with USC in the nightcap. For Joel Flatt and Jim Knox, our entire college football Saturday crew, I'm Joel Myers. Thanks for joining us. What a night for Baylor in Austin. Have a great weekend, everybody.